Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Karen Fritchie, and I'm going to um, talk a little bit about some soft tissue pathology this morning and over the course of three hours during this, this kind of uh, long weekend. And I'm going to start out talking about fatty tumors, and hopefully I'm going to give you all the tools you need to know to work up a well-differentiated fatty tumor in the next 50 or 60 minutes or so. So, and I just wanted to give you a bird's eye view of what I'm going to be talking about during my three lectures. So you have kind of a roadmap of where I'm going. Um, today, we're going to talk about well-differentiated fatty lesions, as well as spindle cell neoplasms that can occur in the abdominal cavity and retroperitoneum. And then on Saturday morning, we're going to finish up and talk about some other common patterns you can see in soft tissue pathology, including myxoid soft tissue tumors, which are always challenging, sarcomatoid malignancies in general, and then finally, round cell sarcomas and sarcomas with herringbone architecture. So hopefully after the three hours of my talking, you'll kind of have a good, just general approach to how to look at these different patterns in soft tissue pathology. Um, so uh, as I mentioned today, we're going to talk about fatty tumors. And fatty tumors, are, it's, it's probably my favorite topic to talk about because they're the most common out of all the soft tissue tumors. Um, also, I can give you a few basic rules, and if you can understand and follow these rules, you can really work up um, fatty tumors to either the right answer or at least most of the way there, and you'll stay out of trouble. Um, and you know, I kind of like to think of my day as a soft tissue pathologist as mostly looking at you know slides that look like this. They're you know they're pleomorphic malignancies. I know it's something bad, but but what is it? Is this carcinoma? Could this be uh, melanoma? Could this even be something like a meso? or a hematolymphoid neoplasm. And once I've kind of done a bunch of scenes to exclude those things, I start thinking about sarcoma. But really that's only half the battle because then I need to figure out the lineage of the sarcoma. I need to figure out what type of sarcoma I'm dealing with. Is it a tumor with vascular differentiation? Could it be a skeletal muscle tumor? Could it be a leiomyosarcoma? And then, um, you know, at the end, am I left with just an undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma? And by that point, I start to wonder, you know, am I really missing just a, a sarcomatoid carcinoma to, to begin with? Do so you have to jump through a lot of hoops in soft tissue tumors to figure out what lineage you're dealing with? But fatty tumors are different because this is not a diagnostic dilemma. We can, we can all recognize this as mature adipose tissue. And if you can recognize this as mature fat, I can teach you how to work up, again, most of all well-differentiated lipomatous neoplasms. And that's what we're going to do this morning. So at the, uh, the goals of the next hour or so will be to review the classification of fatty tumors. Then I'm going to talk about the three rules or principles that I, I kind of alluded to before. And we're going to apply those rules to common clinical clinical scenarios. And the scenarios are going to become more challenging throughout the morning. But if you can kind of, um, you know, get your feet set with the, the easy ones, when we get to the more difficult ones, you'll be able to apply the rules and, and really make the right diagnoses. Along the way, we'll talk about cytogenetics and specifically um, fish studies for MDM2. And then we'll also review some differential diagnoses and pitfalls in fatty tumors. And again, by 11.30, you should feel comfortable, comfortable working of any lesion that looks like this, any lesion with a well-differentiated fatty component.